Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, September the 2nd, 2016. Welcome to another eBay video. We're going to discuss quite a bit of eBay happenings this week. The main topic will be how to bulk edit your eBay listings. I'm going to concentrate on being mobile friendly and some of the things we discussed last week. So what we'll do first is we're going to have a little review about last week's video and some of your concerns and some of the statements you made. And then we're going to move on to the main topic which is how to bulk edit your eBay listings. Quite a few people have actually requested that video. I was going to do a tutorial in the middle of the week on that subject alone, but I just ran short of time. No surprise there. So let's get started today. First, let's discuss some eBay news. eBay sales for me were exceptionally slow Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday. It started Sunday. So I attributed that to people being out and about and not being online. However, on Monday, I was doing some listings and I was getting quite a few error messages. And I jumped onto the Facebook groups and I realized that eBay was down Monday for a big chunk of the day. So if you guys didn't make any sales on Monday, it's because eBay was down or at least partially down depending, I guess, on where you live, because it affected different people in different ways. Some people were not even able to get onto their account during the outage, while other people were able to get on and do limited functions. I myself was able to sign on with no problem, and I even did a few listings. But as I continued, I was getting error messages to the fact that some of them actually prevented me from continuing my operations. Two things I was not able to do on Monday was number one, edit listings, and number two, print shipping labels. I got two unique error messages while printing shipping labels. In one of them, the shipping button, you know the little button that says print shipping label, was not active. I've never seen that before. In fact, here's a quick screenshot of it. Bang! So yeah, Monday was a tough day and the problems actually extended into Tuesday, but thankfully they've all been rectified. I don't know what caused it. I would like to know if any of you experienced problems on Monday or Tuesday with your eBay listings or with any aspect and I'm also very interested in your sales on those two days so please comment that below. Also to get back to last week's video I had received emails from several of you guys for the eBay tape that I'm offering as you guys know that's my email for eBay tape right there crazynydriver at AOL.com if you would like a free roll of eBay tape you may have it from me However, I will need $3.40 for shipping. If any of you guys have not contacted me yet and are still interested in the free roll of eBay tape, email me. I'll need your name and address. And at that time, I will give you my PayPal address and you can send me $3.40 and a roll of tape will be heading to you. For those of you guys who did contact me, you should already have your tape in your possession or it will be with you shortly. Okay, in last week's video, we also talked about getting rid of active content in your listings, and I showed you guys a little meta tag. I read your comments, and quite a few of you guys responded in a positive way, saying that you added the tag and it helped your sales, and I'm glad. I'm really glad, because that's the purpose of me coming out here every week, is to help you guys increase your sales, all right? I want every one of you guys to make serious coin on eBay. I had quite a few requests for people, from people that asked me to do a tutorial on how to bulk edit your eBay listings. I'm going to do that now and we're going to concentrate on bulk editing the meta tag, 
but you can bulk edit basically anything you want on eBay. So let's do a cutaway first to bulk edit your listings using the meta tag I showed you last week. Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit your listings in bulk to help make them mobile friendly. This procedure is also very useful for doing other edits as well, but for today's video we're just going to talk about being mobile friendly. So what you do is first you go to your, sell <clears throat> your seller hub and you click on your active listings. Then your screen will come up like mine did right here. These are my active listings. You will check off this very top box which makes all the other check boxes active. Because remember, you're, you're doing this in bulk right now. This is a bulk edit. The drop down edit field here you will check off the first tab which says 1 to 500. Assuming of course you have that many listings, for you it may be less. Okay? This screen will not come up when you're doing yours because I did a practice run before. So don't worry about this little screen right here you're looking at now. But it's going to process your listings and they're all going to come up, the first 500 of them, and I'm going to show you what to do to make them mobile friendly. does take a few seconds, sometimes a little longer than a few seconds. And here we go. As you see everything is now populated, the first 500 listings. What you'll do is you will check the top box again to make all the items active. From the drop down menu where it says edit fields, click on that, scroll down to where it says item description, click on that. Now. Do not do anything here because what you want to do first is you want to click this hyperlink right here. Switch to HTML editor. Okay. Now what you do, you copy and paste the meta tag I gave you guys last week which is right there and then you click save and close and you're done. I don't have to do that now because I've already done these edits. All my listings are mobile friendly but I just wanted you guys to see how to do it and that's how you do it. Now guys I'm sure you want to check out to see if your listings are in fact mobile friendly and I'll show you how to do that one very shortly. Okay guys I hope you found that little tutorial helpful. As you can see it's quite easy to do not hard at all but if you guys encounter any problems or have any questions or need to do or need to know how to do a specific bulk edit just put it in the comment section below and I will address it when I can hopefully in next week's video. Now that little procedure is not an end in itself but it's a means to an end. So the next step in your journey in making your mobile listings friendly or making your listings mobile friendly as I should have said would be to test your listings and let's see if they actually are mobile friendly. So now I'm going to cut away to a second tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get to that right now. Bang! Okay guys, now that you've edited your listings and put the meta tag in where it belongs, let's test our listings out and see if they are indeed mobile friendly. And here's how to do it. Select one of your items at random, go to your eBay item number right at the bottom there, you're going to copy and you're going to paste this into the little mobile friendly test here. Paste. Click test now. It's going to load. And kabang! My stuff is officially mobile friendly. Both viewport settings and content. Guys, hopefully your stuff is going to be fine too. If you have any issues with either one, hit me up in the comments section. Let me know and I'll help you as best I can. Thank you. Okay guys, I hope that was easy enough. I hope you guys understood it. It's not hard. I will drop a link to the eBay test right below so you guys can click on that link and you guys can copy and paste your own eBay listings in the field and you can see if you guys are mobile friendly or not. 
If any of you guys are still not mobile friendly after these tutorials, type in what your problem is or what your issue is and I will get to it in next week's video because we got to have this done guys. I want every one of you guys to be mobile friendly. Okay. That being said, let us move on now to the eBay full seller update. I have to assume all of you guys received the fall seller update in your eBay messages and you've perused it already. There's not a, not a heck of a lot of new material to go through. Let me just really go through this really quick. The fall seller update is divided into the following categories. Structured data, shipping and returns, active content, seller tools, seller performance standards, category and classification. As I said, most of it is a rehash, and we just covered active content in the last two weeks, so we got that done. I'll just touch on structured data really quickly, because a lot of people are getting nervous and bent out of shape about this. And I want to clarify this. eBay has stated that if you're selling new items, N, E, W, new items, that your items must have a GTIN, which is a global trade item number, an MPN, manufacturer's plot number, or EPID, eBay product identifier. A good many of you guys sell used items, as I do, all right? You guys don't have to worry about that. However, that doesn't really mean you're getting a pass. You really should fill in as much as you can. For instance, with me, you guys have seen my account. I'm eBay seller Hubcap Joe's, top rated seller. And although I sell mostly used stuff, where I can, I always fill in the manufacturer's part number, the MPN. All right? If you guys have that for what you sell, it's very helpful. eBay is not doing this to break balls, all right? The reason why eBay wants you to fill in as much of this structured data as you can is because it will get you and your listings more searchable in Google. And eBay's goal is to get eBay sellers up in search over Amazon sellers. We are surpassing Amazon. All right, that's what's going to happen, guys. That is the goal. I realize that in some cases, eBay has not made that clear enough, but trust me, I know what's going on, and I'm relating it to you. It is in your best interest and everybody's best interest to fill in as much structured data as you can. Get your listings visible. This way, when somebody Googles your product, your stuff comes up over Amazon. Amazon is not going to be the big boy on the block anymore. eBay is. eBay is the place you go to find all the cool used items. You can't find them on Amazon anyway. All right? We are really making headway on this. So please, guys, if you have any questions, I'll, you know, just comment below. But we need to get this taken care of. This weekend is Labor Day weekend. A lot of people will be going away. That means a lot of people will not be online. And I am predicting slow sales. Today is Friday. I'm predicting either mediocre to slow today. I'm predicting slow tomorrow. And probably dead Sunday and very dead Monday. In related news, Hurricane Hermine is coming up the East Coast. I think it's in Florida right now, approaching Georgia. It's supposed to hit us around Sunday, I think later on Sunday. Right now they're only predicting some rain and some wind, but that's probably going to be enough to keep some people home as opposed to going away. So maybe some of the East Coast people will be buying a little more on eBay this weekend, perhaps. We don't know. Only time will tell. All right, getting back to the fall seller update again, there's not a lot of other new items I really want to touch on right now. The only odd thing I saw was with returns. They are now giving us an option. 
instead of giving people their money back, an option to giving the person an exchange. If they buy an item, it's the wrong size, you can exchange it for the right size. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I myself prefer to give money back. It's easier and it's quicker. You may remember in last week's video, I stood out here bragging that I did not have a single return last week. Remember that? Well, I didn't. I had no returns last week, not even last Friday night. However, this week, I had more than usual returns. I had about five this week, you know? So those who didn't return last week waited another week, and they're returning this week. So I've got five items coming back. I'm going to show you something. This is worth seeing. Before I show you this, let me just take a drink. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Very quickly about returns. Taking returns on eBay or anywhere is just the cost of doing business. It's going to happen. I get that. I accept it. The only time I will complain is when somebody returns something off eBay and circumvents their system. That upsets me. In a, in a previous video, I asked you guys, how many of you guys get people that just return things to you without contacting you through eBay or in any way? Well, I had one of those guys this week. He just took it upon himself to send this item back to me. He, he sent it back, signature required, with what I would call a four-page manifesto. I, you guys have to see this, all right? So what happens is he bought a center cap from me for an alloy wheel. Now with center caps, those things are really specialized. You have to buy the right one for the wheel. You cannot buy something that looks right. All right, it has to be right. I always, always, always include the part number. All right, the part number is very important. That's the MPN, manufacturer's part number. And I tell people, read your part number. And I also put the dimensions. So the particular cap this guy bought from me comes in two sizes, the smaller size and the larger. I had the larger one listed with the part number and the dimensions. Naturally, the guy buys the wrong one. He wants the smaller one. I accept that. Mistakes happen. All he had to do was return it through eBay. Bang! I could have given him his money back and that would have been it. What this guy does, as I said, he took it upon himself to return it without contacting me and Look at this. I want you to see this clearly. He provides several drawings that are actually to scale. Now this drawing is the cap I sent him. Page two. I can't believe this. This drawing to scale, once again, is the one he really wants. All right. And then, of course, the listing itself. I don't know how much time it took this. I couldn't even draw this thing, all right? I really couldn't. I can't draw a straight line. All he had to do was contact me through eBay and say, listen, I bought the, the large size. Do you have the smaller? I would have worked with the guy. But anyway, it's all going to work out in the end, just like everything does. Guys. I just thought, you'd I thought you guys would enjoy that little story. I find it interesting, mainly the time he spent. I can't imagine how much time it took him to draw these. All right? This is to freaking scale. I'm not kidding you. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about the tutorials, the fall seller newsletter, anything at all, comment below. I'm Crazy New York Driver, you're not. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys right here next Friday on the Crazy New York Driver Show. Rock on, make some sales. Peace! <laughs>